Hey love bugs, welcome to my channel, Books and Tarot 626. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm happy to have you guys. As always, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, it's okay. I'll catch you on the next one. Um, just want to take a minute to cleanse my space of any negative energy. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective. Please deny any outside interference, not divinely orchestrated. Please allow clear, concise messages. All right, y'all. Let's see what Spirit has for y'all today. We're going to start out with the Blackbird Tarot. The last few, I want to say like maybe a month or so, last couple weeks, it's been a lot of bird activity, like a lot of cardinals, a lot of blue jays, um, a lot of crows. I had a, what are they, buzzard sitting on my roof when I came home one day. So somebody's ancestors may be trying to get messages through to them. Somebody could be the age 36. Um, but yeah, pay attention to like the signs in the universe all around you always because animals will tell you a lot. Um, and then you can always like look up the spiritual significance of a particular bird or animal. All right, anyway, side note. Let's see what Spirit has for y'all. Spirit, what's going on for my collective in the month of July? Doing an energy check in for July. Whip. Somebody first, last initial could be J. You could be seeing the numbers 11, 11. Um, there's something here about whip, like either getting into shape, maybe you could be working on your fitness, or like somebody feels like they need to control you, like they're like holding the whip. That makes sense. Somebody could have a lot of um, clovers in their yard or animals. Like I said, there's something about animals significant with this reading. Somebody could be the age 28. First, last initial could be an A. Um, so it says them, right? I have a whip and then them. And we're gonna clarify with tarot, but I wanna just pull the underall energy. Dog in reverse. So something about loyalty here, and this is upside down, and then we got a bear. Somebody could be seeing 18, 18, 10, 10. I have literally two tens out here. It could be an end of a karmic cycle going on here, or you could be saying 15, 15 a lot as well. But dog in reverse is, is leading me like, oh, so not loyal, like disloyal, like, because you know dogs are real loyal, right? So it's in reverse. So this is somebody who's disloyal in your energy and then we got like a big old grizzly bear like it's almost like i don't know why i'm getting like a and listen i've had my share of domestic violence situations um so like listen i went through it i'm getting that energy here somebody in a in like a domestic violence situation or like this person is bigger than you, stronger than you. What else, sir? Clovers in their yard. Something about a clover is significant. And 
and I'm getting clover in reverse here. So it's like, it could also signify like there was a lot of growth and then death. Like maybe um, blessings were being blocked, growth was being blocked because of the situation at hand here with the DV situation. Yeah, garden in reverse. So I'm getting something about like no growth. No growth. We could be seeing 222 a lot. Um, 2020. This could have started in the year 2020. Maybe you got with this person four years ago. You could be seeing 88 a lot, 666 a lot. Spirit is letting you know with the 666 to stay focused, refocus on what your priorities are, where you need to be at in life. Heart in reverse and pulling back your feelings from this person. 20, you could be seeing 2424. Again, there's a J out here. So somebody's initials, um, first or last initial could be a J. Under all energy is tower in reverse. So I'm getting there's better times coming. And again, 666. Refocus your energy. Um, I want to clarify with some tarot though. Sometimes, like, and I get it, like, always, sometimes when you're in a domestic violence situation, it's, you can't, it's hard for you to get out of that shit because of the manipulation, the stalking, the threats, the violence, like, I get it, but um, try not to make excuses, like, you need to get out of the situation as soon as possible. Because literally your blessings, your abundance, all everything, prosperity is being put on hold until you're away from this person. If you have to contact the authorities and get like somebody on your side to protect you, then do that. Somebody needs to hear this message. Who is this person, sir? What is this whip? Ten of Swords. I'm sorry, Nine of Swords. This person has you feeling like stuck, like you're in your head all the time. You feel like there's no escape from this situation. There's something being shown to you that you're missing. There's something that you need to pay attention to. Like I said, with, I was talking about the animals and the universe and the signs from the universe. You're missing something. It's going over your head. There could be a crown chakra blockage here where your third eye is not open. If you notice that your dreams have been less significant, like you're not having as vivid of dreams or you're not even having dreams any longer, Knight of Pentacles is out here. You might be in a situation where you're dependent on this person financially and that's another reason why you stay stuck. Spirit wants you to know that they'll provide a way for you. Listen, even if you have to go to a shelter and pack like what you can just hold on your back, you need to get out of the situation. What is this 28? Who is them, Spirit? What is this them? Yeah, I'm getting like your guardian angels, your spirit guides, them. And then we got the strength card out here. Somebody could be a Leo and again, 88. Spirit is going to give you the strength to get through this. They got your back. Your eight C. And then I'm also getting Ace of Cups here. It's a it's an ace and a heart. So 
I'm feeling like once you're out of the situation too, there's gonna be a new love interest that comes in. Yep. And then we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles is a woman, a single woman, who is self-sufficient, but it's in reverse. So it's like, once you're out of the situation, there's gonna be somebody there that to help you. There's, there's somebody coming in that's gonna help you get out of this. You feel like you worked hard on something and it's like it all went to shit. Like you put all this work into something and it all went to shit. Yeah, it was in your, like somebody betrayed you straight in your face. We got the seven of swords out here. This is a clown. This person is a clown. Who is this person, Spirit, this disloyal person? Yeah, somebody took 10 of swords. This person wants you to stuck, depressed. This is the type of person that will like say to you, ain't nobody gonna want your ass. Just beat down your, you know, beat down your self-esteem and try to make you feel insignificant. It was never working on you though. The high priestess in reverse, yeah, block off your intuition. Again, we have a J, somebody's initials could be First and last initials could be J. First and last initial could start with a B. They want your crown chakra shut down, your third eye blocked, your high priestess, your intuition completely blocked. Why though? Like what is, what are they getting from controlling and manipulating the collective? I don't understand. What do they get out of this? heartbroken it's like uh so somebody in the past broke their heart so it's like they vowed not to fall in love anymore just gonna control the bitch like it's the ego thing they it gives them like they feel powerful knight of wands in reverse also i'm getting at this person so we talk about this sometimes, like where there's um, sexual entities that attack you while you're sleeping, right? I'm getting like this bear, this grizzly bear, coming in and attaching a sexual entity to you, but it's, it's in reverse. So it's like, in order to get out of this, oh, I don't like what I just heard. In order to get out of the situation, you need to stop sleeping with this person. But I feel like a lot of the time, the sexual escapades between you and them are not consensual. This motherfucker is sick. I don't even feel like this is a karmic um, soulmate. I feel like this is this is a demonic person. Like oh, that's too many. I just don't know. Yeah, passion in reverse. You do not want to sleep with this person. Again, eight, eighty-eight. You're not even attracted to this person like that anymore like it's like yeah queen of swords in reverse but you refuse to cut them off why it's the financial burden it's you're scared there's so many like aspects to this Fair was this clover in reverse? Childhood wounding. Things that weren't healed from childhood. Six again, six, 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 refocus. 
on rebuilding your connection with the divine and getting in contact with your intuition. Working on childhood wounding. What is this childhood wounding? King of Pentacles, maybe a father figure. Somebody might have issues, um, like daddy issues here. A father who was um, not there emotionally, I'm getting, like tried to buy your love, but was never present. Queen of Pentacles, and then you had a mother. A mother and a father, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles out here. Queen of Cups in reverse. No love in your childhood. You didn't get the love you needed from your parents. This is like two parents who just tried to give you shit to win your love, but didn't nurture you. Like they might have been like big in their careers and not had time for you as a child, and you kind of felt neglected. Then we got the garden in reverse, the full knight of swords. What is this garden in reverse? Yeah, this like stunted your emotional maturity and growth. So you would take the risk. What is this knight of swords? It's like, it's like it's showing me like you left home, you took the risk, you left the nest because it was a toxic situation for you. And we refuse to go back. Knight of Swords is like, I'm out of here. But it's in reverse. So maybe that's what this was talking about. You put your all in and it went to shit. Maybe you tried to... Like every situation that you get into, when you try to get out, everything goes to shit. So you're like, I might as well just stay in this toxic bullshit. What the fuck? What is this garden? Yeah. You don't want to be out in the cold. You have abandonment issues as well. I'm feeling like you don't want to be left out of the mix. What is this heart in reverse? I'm here, ice cold. Like your heart is cold, ice cold. Everything that you put your heart and your love into goes to shit. It's like your love language is affection and like um, acts of service. Like it's like you do above and beyond to show people that you love them. And it's like they shit on you every time. And now your heart is on ice. That's what I'm getting. Like you're like, fuck it. No matter who I'm with, no matter what I go to, no matter what, it goes to shit. The hermit. And this, this is what they're saying. That's not true. You need to do some self-reflection and get back in tune with your intuition. That's why the hermit is out here. Your, your high priestess in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse because you refuse to cut out toxic bullshit. Even when you know it's not a good situation and you make up excuses, there are like things at play here, like as far as the DV situation, um, 
you know, and this man being stronger than you and all that, but there's ways that you can get out of it. And you know there's ways that you can get out of it. What is this heart in reverse for the Empress? Yeah. You're a star child. But you have to fucking go within and heal this child wounding. You have to heal this hurt from your parents. Whatever the fuck they, like... I don't, I'm not getting, like, abuse from your parents. I'm just getting, like, neglect. Like, not, not even, like, neglect. Like, you had what you needed, but you didn't receive any love. You weren't shown what love was. So what's going to be the outcome of this situation, sir? Mm. What does the collective need to know? What's going to be the outcome, please? I just was listening to this song in my room. Um, what you will do for love when she's like, I guess you wonder where I've been. And she's like, um, I went to find the love within or some shit like that. Like there's something about something within you that you need to go back and heal and find that love for yourself. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you won't give up. The sacred water. So the next step is nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, and self-care. I cannot make this shit up. You need to take care of yourself. You need to get out of the situation that you're in and head into sacred waters. It's almost like you need to be cleansed and bathed in the spirit and come back out as a rebirth. So if you see in 4-4, four, four, you're protected. 44, the anointed. Answer the call. Empowerment, soul gifts. You're literally a star child, like, you know what though? Most of the time, star seeds and earth angels, and like we have to go through the hardest life because there's so many lessons that we need to learn because we're here for a purpose. It's to, to raise the awareness, like and the the light in the universe. There's so much dark. There's so much dark. And we're here to battle that shit. The wastelands, sustainability, slow down and tend to your garden. Now the garden is out here twice. Tend to your garden like you, where you are. Your surroundings, your home life is the only way that you're going to sustain yourself. I, I don't know if you guys can see this card, but on this card, it's basically like a woman who is bowing down she has a rose like blossoming from her back and she's in the waters like praying like please cleanse me please help me your ancestor somebody could be of native native american descent seeing three ancestors there's like two male figures and a woman figure here sometimes they send you messages in the clouds
Somebody could definitely be a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The return, a new story. You decide alignment is coming together. Yeah. Ooh, I just got chills. I just got goosebumps. That's confirmation. So when you are out of the situation, I'm feeling like you know what you need to do, but you just aren't there yet. And take it as it resonates. This is not for everybody. This is for somebody very in particular. Whisper of Mother Earth. There's been a blockage in your channeling as well. You might have been able to see spirits when you were young and as you grew older that um, that kind of went away, it subsided. Definitely need to work on your third eye and your crown chakra. Somebody could be an artist here, a writer, journalist. Somebody could draw. Maybe a like, um, painter or an artist. Rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. I'm telling you, I saw the Ace of Cups out here. There is a, somebody coming in to help you, to save you, if that makes sense. And don't self-sabotage because you think everybody, everything you put your, your all into, your energy into, went to shit because this is not that. This is different. All right, I'm gonna just pull a couple from the Raise Your Vibration Oracle and then I'm gonna head out. Just a couple little last messages for y'all. Some uplifting, some inspiration, something that y'all may need to hear to get you through. make a way for miracles it's got a door here right and that in behind that door is the light somebody may need to be meditating more to increase their connection i am grateful for earth you might be like i know i am i'm into my plants <laughs> like Cause we got the garden out here, clover, clover, sunflowers for the earth. So yeah, I trusted my gifts. There's somebody, somebody has a green thumb. You could be a healer. Star seed. Truth is my teacher. There's two stars out here. As I said, star seed. I want to pull a tarot on that. Um, truth is my teacher. What is this? The emperor. Didn't I fucking tell? Look, the empress, the emperor, your fucking soulmate, twin flame, whoever is coming. And that's the truth. It's out here. All right, let me get one more from this Raise Your Vibration. Relationships are in... I'm done. <laughs> Look, don't self-sabotage. When this person comes, don't self-sabotage, y'all. Just because you weren't shown, a, you know, a good example of what love is doesn't mean that you can't be, um, you can't be given true love, you know? Relationships are in alignment. And then we have two moths on here, butterflies that signifies transformation and growth at the end of your, of your read. So let that shit in and leave this other motherfucker. Like, seriously. It's never going to get better. Don't ever think it's going to get better. If they put their hands on you once, they will do it again. And it will get worse. Take it from somebody who knows. All right, y'all. I'm leaving here. Um, don't forget to check out my website, VixenTarot626.com. You can book a personal reading with me there, or you can also email me, VixenTarot626. Um, 
at gmail.com. And hit that like button, share, subscribe if you vibe with your girl. All right, love y'all. Bye.